This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysts. Catalysts can be divided into two main types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. A homogeneous catalyst is in the same phase as the reactants. For example, both the catalyst and reactants in the gaseous phase. A heterogeneous catalyst is in a different phase from the reactants. For example, a solid catalyst with gaseous reactants. Next, we look at heterogeneous catalysts. In this reaction, ethene reacts with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst to form ethane. The reactants are in the gaseous phase and the nickel catalyst is in the solid phase. To begin with, the ethene and hydrogen are adsorbed on the surface of the nickel at the active site. Next, bonds are broken and formed on the surface of the nickel. And finally, the product, which is ethane, desorbs from the surface of the nickel. Next, we look at homogeneous catalysts. Homogeneous catalysts involve the formation of an activated complex or a reaction intermediate. Here we can see an energy level profile for a catalyzed and uncatalyzed reaction. The red line shows the reaction pathway for an uncatalyzed reaction. The blue line shows the reaction pathway for a catalyzed reaction. In the first step, the catalyst bonds with a reactant forming a reaction intermediate. The activation energy for this step is shown by this arrow. The reaction intermediate is located here at the lowest point between the two activated complexes. The reaction intermediate then bonds with a second reactant to form the products. The activation energy for this step is shown by this arrow. The activation energy of both these steps is lower than the activation energy of the uncatalyzed reaction. 